Daily update, Tuesday, March 31, 2020, uh, regarding COVID-19 in the city of Lloydminster. Uh, first, a couple of questions from Primetime Local News. In the mayor's video message to residents on Friday, March 27, he stressed the need to only flush approved items down toilets. Uh, has this been an issue and what items are approved? So at this time it hasn't been an issue, but by educating and reminding residents, we're getting ahead of any potential issues that may come. Um, products such as Kleenexes, fabrics, paper towels are not suitable alternatives to toilet paper and should uh, be disposed of as per the city's organics protocol. Uh, flushing these unapproved items will result in clogs in your home plumbing system as well as potentially in the city infrastructure. Um, for residents wanting to learn more about the disposal and flushable items, we encourage them to visit the Lloydminster website and backslash Grease Beast. And question two, the Government of Alberta uh, last week announced a new funding opportunity for social service organizations. How can organizations in Lloydminster apply? Yes, yeah, so the Government of Alberta did announce a new one-time funding opportunity for social service organizations. Um, in that, $30 million will be available to municipalities, charitable and non-profit organizations to help vulnerable residents who are impacted by actions to contain the COVID-19 outbreak. Uh, organizations located in Lloydminster, uh, both on Alberta and Saskatchewan, are eligible for this funding opportunity. However, there is a guideline and criteria as outlined by the provincial government. Interested parties are encouraged to visit uh, lloydminster.ca backslash grants for details and the application process. And next we have one question from 1061 The Goat. Has there been a problem with people using playground equipment in the city since the access was suspended last week? No, we are not aware of any issues with people playing and using uh, the playground equipment that was taken off. Um, education plays a huge role in the prevention of community transmission of COVID-19. And since the city and both of our school boards suspended access to our playground equipment on March 25th, we have not received any um, complaints or non-compliance issues. Um, and I just want to thank everyone in our community for doing their part um, to participate in social distancing and help flatten the curve.